hi guys welcome back again to my channel today my name is osere me if you're seeing my channel for the first time thank you so much for stopping by hit on the subscribe button if you're yet to subscribe and turn on the notification bell on this channel i share sewing tutorial and pattern drafting videos so if you are hoping to learn how to sew this is definitely the channel for you hit on the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos so in today's tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to make this skirt right here in my last video i shared with you how to make the top which i made in pink in today's video we're going to be working on the skirt part which is this beautiful pencil skirt with ruffle around the end so if this is something you're interested in learning how to make keep on watching and if you're still here to subscribe hit on the subscribe button and let's get started with the tutorial okay, I love them done, they know so guys this is the fabric i want to use to make this skirt it's very colorful and it has a lot of patterns so because of that i'm going to be drafting this pattern on my pattern paper because the last pattern i drafted on my fabric a lot of people complained that they were not able to see the lines properly so now to draft on this pattern paper first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to mark a line one and a half inch away from the center of this piece here as you can see i'm marking one and a half inch away and at this top i'm marking half inch away now this top is going to be my waist and then this side will be the length of the skirt now from the middle of this line here i'm going to go in by quarter of my waist measurement which is your waist measurement divided by four now i'll add extra one inch to that point for my dart now from the waist here i'm going to come down to my hip line which is eight inches i'll mark it here and i'll go ahead and draw a straight line across so this is my hip line so here we have the waistline and then we have the hip line here now still from this waist here I'll come down to the length I want this skirt to be and for this particular skirt I want it to be about 21 inches long so I marked a point there and I also draw a line across and label it the length now remember that we have already taken our waist measurement divided by 4 on the waistline now I'm coming to the hip line I will divide my hip measurement by 4 my hip measurement is 36 that divided by 4 is 9 here now on this length of the skirt that's the hemline I'm going to remove one inch from that nine inches I had on the hip line and I'm going to be marking eight here. So whatever your hip measurement is, remove one inch from it and mark it on the last line. Now I'm using my curve to connect all the lines to give me my nine shape as you can see. Now remember that I went in here by one and a half inch. So you can see what I have here is one and a half inch, one and a half inch, and then one and a half inch here. This one and a half inch is going to be my zipper allowance for the back. So this particular pattern that I'm drafting right now is both for the front and back pattern of the skirt together. Okay, so I just extended these lines out and I'm going to go ahead and cut it out now just like you see me doing like this, including the one and a half inch allowance that i have here so by the time we fold in this allowance we'll have just the front piece on this side and when we are ready to cut out the back pattern we'll bring out the zipper allowance so to cut out the front piece now as you can see i'm folding this in i'll go ahead and use this to cut out on my fabric now i've cut out my fabric and you can see it's in a fold here this is for the front pattern of our skirt so i'm going to be placing this folded end of my pattern on this folded edge of the fabric and i'll go ahead and pin it down i'm not joking all my guys them them know me since oh six i've been so now i'm going to go ahead and cut out this front pattern now when i'm cutting the front pattern i will add about one and a half inch to the side from the pattern paper for us to be able to stitch this down and attach the lining piece to it later so i'm cutting this with one and a half inch on the side and at the end of the, the bottom of the pattern paper i'll just add like 0.75 inch here and at the top you can add half inch or you can add half inch to the both ends of the pattern paper whichever one you choose to but the side must be at least one and a half inch now this is the front pattern of our skirt i will need to come down by one inch okay because you must always come down by one inch so that your waist in front will sit perfectly so i came down by one inch and i'm sloping it into the side of my skirt so now we're going to remove this pattern paper here and open up the allowances now we'll be placing this with the allowance to cut out the back pattern now this is what i have here right i'm going to cut out the straight part of the back piece 
and then i'll place the front piece from the line we had earlier where we folded it earlier and just use the front to trace out the back pattern so that the allowances on both sides will be exactly the same now at the top of the back you will have to cut it straight you don't have to give it that snap that we have in front of the skirt now this is a new method this is a different pattern for cutting out your skirt because a couple of people have complained in the past that um the method of me folding my skirt into four that they don't understand so this is a new method i hope that you guys will understand okay so now i've gone ahead to cut out lining pieces for this pieces uh, i have here as well and as you can see i'm just marking the back because this fabric it's very hard for me to differentiate the front and the back so now i'm going to go ahead and stitch my lining to the actual fabric so when cutting out my lining i make sure that my lining is half inch shorter than my actual fabric so that the lining will sit perfectly inside and it's not coming out when we wear our skirt okay so now i'm placing my lining right on my actual fabric the right sides are facing each other and are pinning the ends so you're going to pin the ends first and stitch down the ends first when you're done stitching down the ends you cannot pull in some part of the actual fabric up so that the lining and the actual fabric align at the top before you stitch down the sides you're not going to be stitching the waistline just the sides and the ends so now i'll go ahead and also do the same thing for these back pieces as well so after i was done this is what it looks like so you can see how some part of the actual fabric comes up to fill up this area so that the lining doesn't show at the back at all okay so this is how to go about it i turned everything up from the waistline because we did not stitch the waist area so this is what i have for the back pieces and also for the front piece as well you can see how they align perfectly now i'm going to be leaving some space at the top of this back pieces i extended my tape by one inch and i'm coming down to seven inches here so from here i will mark all the way to somewhere close to the end of the skirt so from the end of the skirt i'll come up by six inches now the space i'm leaving at the top is for me to add a zipper and the one at the end is going to be for the slit so the area that i marked blue i'm going to stitch it down on the sewing machine now from my center front piece i came in by half of my nipple to nipple measurement which is three and a half inches make sure to mark this from your center front and also mark the point on your back pieces as well so i marked it on the both pieces but i took the measurement from the center front piece i marked it here and as you can see i'm making notches on both the front and the back pieces i'm going to head over to the sewing machine now and i'm going to stitch in my dart so i'm going to stitch it down by about four inches on both the front and the back pieces so guys this is my dots here i've stitched down on this front piece you can see it here like i said i came down by four inches and now you can see the stitch i made on this back part of the skirt from here to here so from here this is the opening for the zipper and then this is the opening for the slit now if i turn the back you can see the openings more clearly so i'm going to pin this zipper area down so that it will be easy for us to stitch the sides of these two pieces so this is the front piece I'm putting the back piece on its right sides facing each other align everything perfectly and what you're going to do is to stitch down the sides so as you can see I'm pinning down the side so guys if you have a way you already know how to make a pencil skirt please go ahead and make a pencil skirt that's just what this video, part of the video is about making a pencil skirt so now I'm marking my waist measurements and I'm dividing it with both sides I'll do the same thing for the hip and then I'll go ahead and just join these lines together until I get to the end of the skirt to connect them. Okay, I let them done, they notice. I'm not joking. Now I'm going to make a stitch down here and I'll do the same thing for this other side. So guys, after stitching down the sides of my skirt, you can see what I have here. Now it's gradually coming to life. All that is left is for me to do the band now. So for the band, I already folded this piece into two the width of this piece is about three inches wide and then the length is just enough to go around my waist okay so what i'm going to do is I've, as i folded it like this i'm going to just pin it around the waistline i want because i want to weave this waist area by the time i'm done so this is a very easy way of going about this so i'll just pin this around the waistline go ahead and 
stitch it down and then use my weaving machine to make it neat by the time i'm done so i'll stitch this area down and you can see how nicely it's going to look so once i'm through with that i'm going to go ahead and fix my zipper to the back so guys my zipper is fixed as you can see and you can see how neat the waist area is after i was done fixing my band so this is basically all for making for the making of the pencil skirt like this is just all for the making of the pencil skirt so now we are going to work on the ruffle at the end so guys for the ruffle at the end i have this piece here now the measurement of this piece is this width here i have 13 inches okay and then for the length of this whole piece i have about two yards so as you can see this is one yard here and from here i measured again and got another one yard and about um three inches which is just like two yards so now the measurements the length of this ruffle is actually supposed to be at least twice the measurements you have around the end of your skirt so around the end of my skirt i had 33 inches so two yards is more than twice of that okay so now what i want to do is i'm going to go ahead and fold this piece into two so watch what i'm doing here i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and fold this piece into two like this and i will stitch down one end so i'm going to stitch down this end until i get to the very end of this fabric so guys after stitching it down as you can see i've turned it to the right side and this is what i have here let me just cut off this excess rope here it's not supposed to be here so now i'm placing the part where we made our stitch in the middle of this folded piece here so my stitch line is somewhere in the middle it's not exactly in the middle but it's just somewhere very close to the middle because you don't want to place this stitch on the middle because we're going to be making a gather stitch here in the middle because if you place it exactly in the middle you're not going to be able to pull on your gather stitch so from this end here i'm going to go over to the sewing machine and make a gather stitch so after i made that gather stitch all the way to the end in the middle here you can see what i have now guys this has to be the most hardest gather i've ever had to do in my life because this piece was too thick because i mean we are folding two different fabrics together we are trying to make gathers so what i ended up doing was that this particular one you see me doing here broke and i had to start with the process again so what i had to do was to make the gathers in segments so i made several gather stitches so that i will not have just one long stitch so like what i'm trying to say is from here to like here i had one gather stitch from here to here i made another one from here to here i made another one so that it's not just be one long strip that i'm trying to gather together that was the only way i was able to get these gathers here okay so now that the gather is the same measurement as what i have around the end of my skirt i'm going to go ahead and place this gather piece right on the skirt area like this just like you see me doing like this so go ahead and place it like this if you have your pins close by go ahead and pin it all the way around i wanted to pin it down but my pins were just nowhere to be found at this particular moment so right now i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and make a top stitch on the point where we had our gathers so you can see what it looks like after i was done stitching on that point where we had our gathers so now at the back i'm going to now head over to the sewing machine and stitch on top of these areas where we have our slits to make sure that the ruffles actually goes in okay so that the back was also look neat as well um so yeah that's basically all for the making of this cute skirt it's actually very easy and this is the final look of the skirt on me so thank you so much for watching this video i'll be seeing you guys in my next one bye